In this data, previous cluster analysis has suggested that these four variables, V2, V5, V6 and V9, are capable of predicting the binary state for this group variable into either state A or state B. And we wish to use binary regression to investigate this. So we go to stat, regression, binary logistic regression. We have data in the response format, and this will be the group variable. And the model will include these four variables, which we select. Under options, we check that we're using logit for the link function. And then under reference options, we enter A to make A the uh, binary state equivalent to a probability of 1. Click OK. Under graphs, we will select a graph of delta deviance against probability. And under storage, we will choose to store the event probabilities for all of the records, for all of the observations. OK, and we run the analysis. We look first at the printed output, which will be in the session window, which confirms that we're using the logit link function. It also confirms that we have 50 values in each state A and B, and that A is the event which has the probability of 1, and we have the coefficients of the binary regression equation in that log it of the probability will equal a constant of minus 12.7 and then minus 0 0.057 times the value of v2 plus 0.0368 times the value of v5 plus 0 0.1909 times v6 and 0 0.591 times v9. From this equation we could calculate the probabilities for each of the data values from each of the records. And these calculated probabilities have been produced in column C7 under the new variable EPR01, the event probabilities. We can also look at the delta deviance graph that was produced. This graph plots delta deviance, which is a measure of the difference between the experimental value and the value predicted by the model fit. And it's plotting the delta deviance for each data point against its probability. And these two curves represent the two binary states. The curve from the top left to the bottom right represents state A, in that data values which are good fits, i.e. they have a low deviance, will have a probability of 1 if they are in state A. So the data points to the bottom right of this graph represents records which are, which are a good fit in state A. Values to the top left of the diagram represent uh, members of group A that are poor fits to the data. And similarly, for members of group B, group B values with a low delta deviance would be expected to have a low probability. So the data values to the bottom left are good fits, but those to the top right are poor fits.